Microsoft's new AI engine can imagine gameplay of video games that don't exist. Microsoft Muse can design video games based on your playing style. So what's gonna happen now? You're gonna play a game for 10 seconds, all right? Only 10 seconds, 10 frames you need, and it's gonna predict what comes next. So there's a lot of talk on it. There's a lot of talk on the Microsoft Research blog, and they tell us that this is the future of gaming. I don't think so, but I think that we can make money with these. You know, I already got a few ideas. So let's just watch some of these. Let me just, you know, I'll just open this. It's actually really low resolution and yeah, it still works like 380 with 120p, but this was made with bleeding edge, right? So what they did, they trained the model with bleeding edge and then they just used someone to play the game so the AI can predict the outcome. You probably know about Bleeding Edge. This is a game that people play and this is actually the training data. And they made things like this, right? So it's kind of cool, right? I already seen the use case on TikTok for those, you know, those Reddit stories, whatever, and people will, you know, you won't have to record your gameplay video anymore. You can just, Give it 10 seconds and it's gonna do the rest. So it is pretty cool. What's not cool is that it is still in the developing phase, you know? The resolution is really, really small, but here's how it works, right? So you can see it right here. You have a controller here on the right, and then you will just give your input, and then it's just gonna predict the rest of it, right? So that's essentially how it works, but it's cool, right? I really like the idea. And of course, today we're gonna to talk about how we can prepare ourselves to get the money with this. Firstly, in a nutshell, what it does, it just replicates human gameplay, right? Based on human experience, based on human gameplay, it's just gonna give you the video on it. You give it 10 seconds and it's gonna be consistent for the next several minutes. What's the most effed up thing a family member of yours has done? And right out of the bat, I can see the use case for this one. You've probably seen all these videos like these, you know? It's just a Reddit story. People just took a story from Reddit and they just recorded themselves playing Minecraft video. I saw a lot of people selling these Minecraft videos just for this use case. And I saw it on Fiverr, I saw it on Upwork, and yeah, people get the money with it. So what this opens up for us is to generate video gameplay. It can be Minecraft, it can be whatever and then you use AI in order to save yourself some time, right? Now, you can work for others, right? I've seen a lot of people there doing it, which just means that there's a lot of demand for it. And you can do the same thing. You can just make yourself a gig here, and then you can just wait for clients, which will eventually come because, well, as I've told you, there's a lot of demand for it. People use it on Instagram, people use it on TikTok, people use it on YouTube, and they're just in need of such content. Have a look at this person. This person has almost 220 reviews and it's the minimum amount that this person has been sold because, you know, not everyone is gonna leave a review here. So it's 400 at least, but 30 seconds long video, which is 4K by the way, is $25. Now we have to wait until we see the 4K resolution from Microsoft Muse, but $25 for 30 seconds video, it sounds good, it sounds really, really good. $45 is for one minute long video of a gameplay from Minecraft, right? On the other hand, you don't have to work for others. My recommendation is to make your own YouTube channel, is to make your own Instagram page or a TikTok page, whatever, and start putting out your content. Anyone can create content nowadays, right? It's not rocket science. All these people that are successful, they're just consistent with it. All you need is an idea. You can just take ChatGPT to give you plenty of ideas, or you can just take Reddit stories, whatever you have in mind, whatever you wanna share with the world, and then you just have to be consistent. With the gameplay option, it's gonna be good for retention, it's gonna be good for comments, and if you're one of the first people using this technology, well, you're gonna be a novelty, right? You're gonna be one of the first people using it, and then you're just gonna grab all that traffic to yourself and become one of the first, one of the biggest ones, that's using it. Also, one more thing that you can do is that, well, you can make shorts on YouTube, which are, well, gameplay shorts, and you can get to 1,000 subs and you can sell the channel 
So this is what I would do. I would make one for myself and I would wait, wait to make one to sell. And it's really easy to get it done with shorts and people are gonna pay a lot of money for a monetized YouTube channel. So there's a lot of opportunities. It just depends on you. You've got all the AI tools, you've got ChatGPT, you've got other video generation tools such as WAN 2.1, which is really, really good. It's gonna be good. And of course, you've got Muse to make you these kind of videos. But it's not gonna be good yet because of the resolution, of course, but I think that it's not too far away. They've been working on it for a long time. They've been using this bleeding edge and there's a lot of people testing it, right? So I think that it's gonna be cool soon enough. It's just gonna get updated, upgraded, and the resolution is gonna be better and higher. And yeah, this is still alive. These Reddit stories, just take a look at this. They have a lot, a lot of followers. And what they do, they just take the Reddit story from Reddit and then they just edit this and cap cut or whatever. And they just use the gameplay or these stupid, dumb videos that anyone can make, right? Anyone can create something like this, you know? It's just a gameplay video and there's text over it and there's a voiceover. Let me just... Down his fork, looked me straight in the eye and said, you are a burden and you can no longer live with us. So it's an AI voiceover, right? It's nothing special. You can use 11 laps for free. There's a lot of other ones for free. And you know, it's just about consistency. Whenever you think about content creation, you have to have consistency in mind because that's what these algorithms love. YouTube loves it, Instagram loves it, TikTok loves it. They love consistency from your side. And it's really simple to explain because they need you, right? They need you. And if you're consistent, they're just gonna put you ahead of the herd because they can rely on you so they can make more money, they can sell more ads. And if you're dependable, they're just gonna give you a little push, right? So all these people that are successful, they're all they are doing is that they're just being consistent. They show up every day, they put content. I don't know, if it's YouTube, they just do it each two, three, four days. If it's TikTok, you gotta be on it every day. I would suggest the same with Instagram as well. So in a nutshell, it's all about consistency and you showing up. So if you have something in mind that you want to share with people, it's going to be easier for you to stay consistent. On the other hand, if you do something that is not good for you, if you do something that you do not enjoy, it's going to be a grind and it's going to be hard. Either way, it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of patience to build something from scratch. But once you get there, you're going to be so proud of yourself and you're gonna be, you'll just tell yourself, oh, hey, why was I doubting? What are, what were those fears for? You know, that's how it works. So yeah, if you don't wanna go that route, just work for other people and get yourself to sign money, whatever, extra income on the side. But if you plan to use something like this, well, just wait a bit more until you get higher resolution on Microsoft Muse and then just start putting that content out. There's also this WAN 2.1, which is a video generation tool from China, once again. And I've got a separate video on it. It's a really cool tool. It's not out yet, but it's gonna be so good. I mean, from these cherry picked samples, it's just gonna be so, so good. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.